Hello, Country Changers. Welcome to another month where we are featuring Greater Hume this month. And joining us for this webinar, we have Virginia Scholes from Ray White Albury North, um, who's going to talk to us about the beautiful area of the Greater Hume, not only from a real estate perspective, but also from a lifestyle perspective. So thank you for joining us, Virginia. No worries, Letitia. Thank you so much for the opportunity. You're so welcome. Um, so first off, we might even start with, um, and I, I can pull up a map, but mm -hmm. where is Greater Hume? Oh, well, okay. So if you don't know where Greater Hume is, it's if all around Albury, Wodonga. Well, Wodonga's in Victoria, Albury's in New South Wales, and then you head out sort of northwest and west and north and south I don't know about south but anyway I don't know where it is really to be honest I just live <laughs> no I do um uh, but, but it covers a large region but it does encapsulate a lot of lovely little towns and villages um and so you just come off the off the freeway between Melbourne and Sydney and you've got this this whole area that's just got offers so much yeah so yeah and as you said, you've got Albury, Wodonga on the border there of New South Wales, Victoria, um, Canberra, and then um, Sydney. But you've also got the the township, uh, the the inland town city of Wagga. So between Correct. Albury and Wagga, you've got two major regional airports, um, mm -hmm. and that connects a lot of people to obviously the capital cities. But even out of Albury now, you've got um, some really good options for flying to other regional communities. So. I Correct. find that a lot of people are yeah. living, um, working um, in other areas and coming back and it's opened up a whole new sort of opportunity for people to live where they want to yeah. live but then work elsewhere if they need mm. to. Yes, we, we actually have a lot of that uh, happening. I've sold quite a few properties to, you know, now that people are working from home as well. So they can go to their head office, which may be, you know, in Canberra or Sydney or Melbourne, and then they can come back to Henty or to, you know, Colcan or Waller and, and work two or three days a week from home. So they're yeah. just the best of both worlds. You get that beautiful lifestyle, de-stress. And, yeah, it's it, COVID has a lot to answer for, but it's done some terrific things with the um, with the ability to be able to work from home, which is why I'm now working mostly from home in Walla. So, oh, well, very nice. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. You just started playing in the background while I'm trying to. <laughs> <laughs> um, but as hmm. mentioned, with um, Walla, you have, uh, sorry, with um, Greater Hume, the, the community itself is about 11,000 people, but you've got a number of townships and villages within that. So it's the Greater Hume Shire Council region is, is quite large as we saw from that map. Um, but you've got little pockets of mm. those little areas. You're from, you live in Walla Walla? I do live in Walla Walla, which is 30 minute drive to Lavington, which is where our office is in Ray White. Um, but then if you could, you know, you've got Jindra in between, so that's, say, 70 minutes from Walla, and then if I was to head in the other direction, we've got Colcan, which is, say, 17-minute drive, and then Henty, which is a 25-minute drive from, from Walla. Um, so, therefore, if you can live in Colcan or one of the little towns um, you've got a 30-minute commute if you're working in Albury or to the airport or um, the trains go through from Sydney. So um, there's lots of... You don't need to be living in a big city to, uh, yeah, to have a working lifestyle balance. Yeah, 100%. Mm -hmm. um, and what are you finding as a real estate agent? What are, like, what are some of the, um, the qualities that people are looking for when they are making that tree change? Um, I've just, well, for example, I just recently sold to a young couple from the Blue Mountains. Now, they could not afford to buy there. Their rental was, uh, they were being forced out of their rental. They came down, they were looking for somewhere that had good NBN, somewhere that had, you know, a, a, an, a, an affordable home with a large block and with some school and, and childcare facilities nearby. So all of these little towns offer that. Um, we in Walla have a really large um, uh you know, college, but we also have a lot of industry here. So I would say our internet is better than Albury, um, which it actually is. Um, so you you don't have to be in a big city to to have that um, that work life balance, as I said. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So um, did you find that 
the the amount of people looking for those lifestyle changes um, and focusing more on, I guess, more than work. Did that increase during COVID? People wanting to rebalance. Oh, stuff? look, absolutely. I mean, most people just wanted to get out of Victoria, so we, we were close enough to to be able to offer that. Um, sold a few houses, sight unseen. Uh, and the affordability here, as I said, you could, you know, get a three bedroom, one bathroom um, on a really large, maybe 1700 square metre block for around the 370, 370,000. So, um, and as a rental, you'd probably pay 370 a week. So we've got both opportunities for, for rentals and for, um, and for lifestyle, you know, people moving to the country that, that want to get a bit of life balance. I think that's what COVID did to people. It made people realise that we all just work all we do is work mm -hmm. and it would be kind of nice to have a bit more time, you know. So take out the travelling that you have to do in um, in the city areas and you've got the um, best of both worlds out in the bush. So what's the market like at the moment if someone was interested in making a tree change to the Greater Hume? Um, it's The market has softened as it has throughout you know, the rest of Australia, but so it's becoming more affordable. I think we have less investors buying at the moment so young people can get back into the market, which is really good. Um, yeah, there, there's a few properties uh, around. They do go quickly, but, yeah, there's certainly uh, if someone, um, I usually sell things off market. So if someone was to contact, you know, myself or a similar agent um, and say what they were looking for or let us know what they're looking for we could probably find them for something before it hit the market which okay. which makes life a bit easier yeah so that's your advice so if you are serious about making that country mm. change then getting in contact with, yes with an agent or somebody yeah. getting on that list so you yeah. can see because it doesn't last like it, it doesn't sound like no on market or no no that's right yep so okay. it's good to be in the know yeah, absolutely. And from a lifestyle perspective, like what can people expect? And again, I might just share my screen again mm -hmm. while you're talking. Okay. Yeah, sure. Um, sporting facilities, obviously, there's some great um, sporting teams around here, whether it's cricket or, or football or netball, basketball. You've got a lot of, you know, you're bushwalking. We've got your gum swamp, which uh, has had water in it for the last, uh, recently for, uh, a good few months they were canoeing out there now they used to do that back in 1911 and there hasn't been much canoeing since but the the swamp is full we've got Morgan's Lookout um, which offers you know photo opportunities um, or an, it's, it's a fabulous lookout on a private property up um, just on the edge of town here I think uh, in the video that yeah. I'm showing we actually oh yeah yeah it's that. magnificent that's right it's magnificent um, you know you've got um well, we're really only maybe just under two hours from the snowfields. So if you were to go to, you know, Falls Creek, somewhere like that, just go head up through Albury, um, up towards Mitchell or Talangada. Yeah, there's Holbrook there. That's a, that's a, gee, that place has come along. It's amazing, that little town. It's a lovely destination. And even since it's been off the freeway now, the town's just boomed. Um, I did my Christmas shopping in Holbrook, so it's yeah, it offers a lot. Um, yeah, you can become self-sufficient. You've got uh, room for veggie gardens and I've actually got a flow hive myself. So we have bees and chooks and, hmm, yeah. So, and that's another thing I think that, you know, since COVID people are really looking to try and get back to nature a bit more, you know, get away from the rat race, look after themselves and their family and actually enjoy, enjoy life. Yeah, not just commuting somewhere. Yeah, absolutely. And in this video, um, by the way, anyone interested in watching this video, it's on the Country Change website. If you head to the um, Greater Hume page, <laughs> this is yeah. featured on there. Um, and this was an interview we did with a lovely young couple a couple of years ago um, who just bought a property um, and then we're building it up very much a lifestyle block same thing um, bees all of that sort of stuff they had yeah. big things and took us around their property so it was it was really beautiful and I think you know one of the main things that they brought up is they never would have been able to achieve what they've achieved especially mm. at such a young age had they stayed mm. in the city and absolutely yep. wanting, being able to achieve that so young was a really huge thing for them Mm, absolutely and it's um and 
given that a lot of the little towns offer childcare now and terrific education, primary and, and high school education, you, you don't need to move. You don't need to, um, to, to stress the whole family and try and, you know, um, I mean, I had to go to boarding school personally, which I, I do regret, but, <laughs> but it'd be nice if I could have stayed in my town and gone to school, you know. So, so we have the facilities now out in the bush here to, to have terrific education and, yeah, just the family can stay together, yeah. Well, I know across the five towns and six villages you've got four preschools, ten public and five private primary schools as well as mm -hmm. one public and two private high schools and then you've yes. got a range of TAFEs um, in Wagga you, and Albury. And Albury, yeah. You've got um, satellite campuses for universities. Yes, um, and La Trobe Uni. So, like, yeah, well, we've got the uni in Albury and Wodonga as well. We've yeah, got La Trobe and um, the, uh, the base. Yeah, yeah. So, so the education, like, you've really got everything, and the hospitals, uh, the medical. Now, there's the big cancer center in Albury. Hopefully, no one would ever need to use that, but if you do, that's where it is. Um, you know, that the, the hospital in Colcan is fabulous. My husband got sick two nights ago, and. We just took him straight to Colcan and it was um, was a fabulous little hospital. It's just had, you know, millions of dollars spent on it. So so you don't need to worry uh, about being away from, from everything because it's actually nicer to have those facilities here and, and not to have to wait to get into places. So and that's there's a lot so of considerations, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And access is so important. You know, we can say we want beautiful properties and we affordability, but if you're isolated away from resources like childcare, mm -hmm. hospitals, yeah. et cetera. Medical, yeah. Medical facilities. Um, but the beauty is that, you know, the Greater Hume does have really good services and there's a lot of investment that is has happened and will continue yeah. to happen. Um, and you don't need to bring a job. You can bring your own job, but mm -hmm. I know there are job opportunities. Oh, yes, There's, there is just so much opportunity. Even locally here, they're advertising all the time. There's, because we have COTSA silos, um, that's where they're manufactured. That's, a, that's an international company almost. That, that was um, started here in, in Waller and they're always looking for workers. Leshkis are looking for workers, you know, um, Cole Kent, like the hospital. There's so much work here and how nice would it be just to move somewhere where, you you know, you can drive or walk to work um, rather than commute for hours and, you know, it's, um, I think people should consider the opportunities that, that areas such as Greater Hume do offer. Yeah, and look, one of the things um, that people often say um, is that whilst they might be driving 60 kilometres mm. in, in some instances, they know exactly how long it will take because there's yes. no... Correct. And I, when I lived in Sydney 15, 20, 20 years ago, hmm. um, you know, I my work was less than seven kilometers and it took me over an hour and that could vary day to day yeah yeah it was me insane and even though i was in sydney there was still no great public transport links so mm. you know whereas i'd much prefer to sit in my car for 60 kilometers or 40 minutes, yes. 40 yeah. minutes even mm. listen, listen to audiobook listen to my music take in the wildlife mm. um yep or do all your you know make your phone calls Yep. That's what I do. I'm, if, if I go to my office in Lavington, it's 30 minutes home. So I just usually finish up my, my phone calls for my vendors or purchases on the way. And when I walk in the door, I'm finished. I'm done. So, and you, you're right, you know, it's going to be 30 minutes where, um, I, and that's certainly um, reflective in, if, well, I'll give you a good example. I, had, I sold a house to in Colcan to um, a young girl and she was the first person in her family that had ever owned a home. Now, they were immigrants. And Mum and Dad moved to Sydney, been there forever. They'd never been over the Blue Mountains. So they came one day that somehow I got onto them. They must have emailed me about something. And I said, come and have a look. And so we found they found their way to Colcan and bought a beautiful brick home. Mum's moved there. They've got a big yard. Now the sister's moved down here and the brother's moving. You know, no one had ever considered coming over the mountains to see what was here. They just, people just think because they're in the city that they need to stay in the city. And and once they would never go back, you know, and, and they what they were able to buy uh, is astounding, yeah. So yeah. And look, I think um, there is that misconception that there's nothing to do in the country, there's no jobs, there's no this, there's no uh, that. Yeah. 
but it is so not true. Mm, I mean, absolutely. again, reflecting on conversations I've had with people, they say the busiest they've ever been is when they've moved to a regional town because they're, they're yeah. filling their cups in so many more ways. Mm. It's not mm. just work. They're involved mm. in community groups, sporting groups, um, yeah. you know, events and things like that. So they're actually enhancing their skill sets and becoming more of a fuller version of themselves as opposed to yeah. losing two hours a day in traffic and feeling absolutely cold. yeah that's exactly right and with your with your travel time you know you could be doing something else you can go to a gym instead of traveling in a car or you could go for a walk or you could walk the dog or you could spend time with the kids you know kick the footy rather than just sitting in a car and commuting and you know you don't have to have children or dogs I mean I a lot of retirees also move to this area because it's safe, because they feel safe. They feel the community. They don't feel isolated. You can live in a city and not know who your neighbours are. Um, and, and I know with a lot of the, there seems to be, well, ever-growing violence and, and you know, robberies and things like that that we don't really have here. So um, to move out to the country and feel safe and people are friendly um, yeah, it's it's certainly can probably probably prolong your lifestyle, like your life oh, longevity. Yeah, yeah, that's the, it. yeah. The health and wellness aspects of it, cleaner, mm. more active, um, mm. less stress. Less yeah, stress, all of those mental, physical, emotional yeah. benefits. Yeah. So that is huge. Um, is there anything else that you wanted to add about you know the benefits of living, working, and playing in in Greater Hume before we sign off? Well, I'd just like to maybe extend the opportunity to anyone who's considering um, moving or would like to buy a property because I honestly feel that if you're living in the city, um, you know, you're going to have to save a long time before you buy something. And, and interestingly enough, I was travelling back from Melbourne yesterday and they're building further and further out. They're almost at Seymour and I just... I looked across and there was these huge houses on these tiny blocks, never see a, a person, there's no trees. They're all, they think they're living in Melbourne and they're not. Um, and, I, and I just wonder why you would do that, why you wouldn't move to the country and actually have a life. That astounds me because, honestly, there's no, there is no, there seems to be no facilities out there, there's no transport. And, and the city was in the, the distance somewhere and I thought, well, how often would they actually get into the CBD you know, why bother to say you live in Melbourne when you're actually almost in Seymour? I don't know. So, like, oh, really, I just, yeah, I just, it, I just, I, I can't fa fathom it. Sorry, I'm just a bit, yeah. No. I can't well, fathom, yeah, why people would do that. So. Yeah, look, and I think people are, as we said at the beginning, people are reevaluating their life lifestyles their choices mm -hmm. all of those things so um if anyone would like more information about greater hume like i said earlier head to countrychange.com.au go to plan a visit and then head down to the greater hume area on that town page you'll find a whole bunch of information um uh, that video we were playing earlier and the contact details for Marg Killerly, who is from the Greater Hume Council, who can definitely set you up um, and head you, point you in the right direction of whatever information you might need, whether it be, um, you know, contacts like Virginia, um, contacts for commercial properties, um, opportunities, jobs, um, anything like that, Marg's your lady. And obviously you can always reach out to Virginia um, at Ray White Aubrey North um, for other property inquiries. But I do encourage you, there's a whole range of um, stories on there for Greater Hume as well that you might want to check out. Uh, each of these cover one of the different towns and have really different, beautiful stories um, from people who've made a, a, that tree change. So definitely encouraging people to jump onto the website. But um, thank course. you. Thank you so much for your time, Thank Virginia. You. Um, no really worries at all. It. That's all right. Let's hope we can inspire somebody to make that change. Absolutely. Thank you so Great. much. Thanks, Letitia.